Estimates say up to 200,000 women were forced to act as sex slaves for the Japanese army before and during World War II, many of them from China, Korea, and Indonesia. CCTV's Andrew Saputra takes a closer look at their search for closure 70 years later. For Ichi, the scars are still fresh. I was so scared. I remembered crying every night. I just wanted to die. I felt so helpless. Ichi is one of thousands of women in Indonesia that were taken from their homes and were forced into the Japanese military sex slave system during World War II, or Ianfu, that literally translates into comfort women. I was kept in a small shed in the back with other women. The soldier would come and throw me onto the bed. He stripped me and I would scream. He'd hit me. There was nothing I can do. Everyone else just stood there. She was 15 at the time. The rape continues until the Japanese finally left Indonesia in 1945. She became barren ever since. Now blind, she lives in this remote village with her adopted daughter. This woman suffered extreme case of human rights violations that has robbed them of normal lives. They are sexually traumatized and almost all of them can't go back to school because of the stigma attached to them. So this horrific event has literally destroyed their whole lives. That stigma was also felt in full by Umi Kulsum. When the Japanese military occupied the building, she was 11. She was bringing food home when she was taken by two soldiers. Two guards at the building grabbed me and stripped me. I can't even scream. I didn't know what was happening. By chance, she managed to escape. Her two sisters, though, were not so lucky and were took by the Japanese soldiers as Yanfus. Her life has never been the same ever since. Her whole family was stamped as Japanese whores. With no one wants to get anywhere near her, she was forced to marry her cousin. While the current Japanese government's position has been unclear about the issue, with contradicting stances over the years, there are thousands and thousands of eyewitness accounts and documents that corroborates these women's claims. And for women like Umi and Ichi, who has been a fighter all their lives. The hope is that these grandmothers can finally have some closure. Andy Sputra, CCTV, Sukabumi, West Java.